everyone. So welcome to First Code Academy. My name is Sid. So today we're going to look at how we're going to make a New Year's resolution list for the year of 2020 with the use of HTML, CSS, and JS. And this is all tied into web programming. So the three things we'll learn today is a bit of HTML, a bit of CSS, and some JS. And we'll learn how to make a ordered list in HTML. So we're going to have a look at our project, and then we're going to begin with it. This is our project, and this is what it looks like. I have added some JavaScript, and at the start, it's asked me, what is your name? So I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to type in my name. Once I've done that, I'm going to click on OK. So with the use of JavaScript, once again, it says, welcome to my New Year's resolution website, and then it says my name. Then I click on OK. And what I have here is my New Year's resolution website for the year of 2021. I've added a header. Then I've added a smaller header here. And what I've done here is I've added a list. Now, there are ordered and unordered lists. And for this exercise, we're going to use a ordered list. And the difference is that there is numberings on the side of each item in this list. At the end, I've added an image, which is technically a GIF. And on the side, I've added a border with some style. And to top it off, I've given it a background color. And I've also added custom font, which we will learn how to use from Google. So now, let's begin our project. To start, please head to Code Pen and log into your account. And to start, we're going to click on Pen over here. So we're going to type in our project name here. We're going to type in 2021 New Year's Resolutions. And here, we have the HTML, we have the CSS, and the JS. Now, the HTML is the text part of the web page. CSS is where you want to add some coloring, some styling. And JS is where you bring the web page to life. To begin our project, we will start by entering the HTML tags. So type in this and type in our ending tags. So remember, there's always a starting and ending tag. Next, we want to add in a body tag. This is where the chunk of our content is going to be. And this is where you want to place everything inside the body part of your page. That's in the middle. And then we want to add in a header. To add in a header, we use a h tag. So you can use a h1. You can type in my new year's resolutions. And then you add in your closing h1 tag, and then you have a header now on your page. Next, we can add in a paragraph. Just saying that for the year of 2021, these are the resolutions that I would do complete. Right. So we've added a starting paragraph tag and an ending paragraph tag, and then added the content inside there. So we've added so far a header and a paragraph. Next, we want to add in a list. Now, in HTML, there are two ways of adding lists. You can use a OL tag, that is for a ordered list, where each list item will have a number. Or you can use a UL, that's an unordered list, where the each item doesn't have a number. You'll just see a bullet point. But as we're making New Year's resolution for the new year, we want to put our resolutions as a priority. So we want to list them in a list with a number. So to begin, we'll start by adding the OL tag. So this is the ordered list tag. But once you have this tag and you type in something, say I type in hello world, you'll notice that it just comes printed out. And then if I type in hello Mars, it just is printed out next to it. But if we want to add in items, we actually need to add in another tag. So I'm going to show you what this tag is. This tag is called a LI. 
in other words, you can call this a list item. And this is when we want to enter an item inside our list. So for the first one, I'm going to say eat more fruits. That will be my first item in my list of my resolutions. The second thing I want to write is exercise daily. All right. Oops, made a spelling mistake. Next, I put another li tag. So we've already added two items in our resolution. We're going to add in the third one. So the third one will be learn Python for me. So I hope you guys are writing in your resolutions. I'm curious to see what you guys would like to achieve for the year of 2021. And then I want to add in a fourth item to my list. So I put in another li tag. So the HTML understands that whenever you put an li tag inside your ordered list, it knows that this is the next item that's needed and it'll add the appropriate number to this list. So now I'm going to write in learn web development. And then I can add in another item here and I can say um, play more basketball. So I've added five items to my list using the li tag and all inside a ordered list. To end this, I would like to add an image of 2021. And to do that, I add in a image source tag. So we will do this after the ending tag of ordered list as we don't want it to become, we don't want it to be shoved together. So image source equal sign this and then just add in this tag so there's no need to put a closing image tag we just close it by using this next we can just head to google images here and we can type in 2021 and then if you want an image you can use an image if you want a gif you can use a gif i'll be using a gif and then i will use this here and then i will right click it and copy the image address head back to here and paste it inside. So once I've pasted it, an image should load. Now this is where the CSS comes in handy. Now I don't want this image to be so big. So what do I do? I type in my image tag and then I give it a height of 200 pixels and a width of maybe 300 pixels. So it makes the image smaller and it changes its height and width as I've given the property of it and the value. Next, I'd like to add a border. So maybe I can use five pixels, double and red. So double of the styling red is a color and you can notice the styling over here. If I were to change this to maybe 15, the styling will be a bit thicker, but I will just leave it as five. So that's the HTML part with a bit of CSS. Now on top of this, say if we want to make this a little more colorful, we can actually start by giving this a background color. So to make use of the whole page and we want to select the whole page, we can use the body tag in CSS. And here we can give it a background color of say orange for now. And you can always change this using RGB or hex code values. And then you can give the font a color of white, if you like, or if you want red. Either way is up to you. You can pick any color you like. So I'll just leave it at black here. And now say, for example, you want a different font. So we can go here, type in Google Fonts, and just click on this. So you can find a font that you like. So I'm just gonna search quicksand, I'll use this. And then I will stick to this style. So we select this style. Now to import this, we click on import over here and we just copy paste this. Right here. What this does is it imports the font from Google font into our project. So we can just place this here. 
And the next thing is I need to just specify this in the CSS as I would like to change the font. So here, and you can see that my font has changed over here. If you want to change a background color to something other than orange, you can always go to the RGB color picker. And here, you can just move this over here and pick. So say you want something like this. You have hex values here and you have RGB values here. So say I want to use this sort of green. I can just copy this hex value over here. Go back to my project and I can remove this over here. Just paste that and it turns green. And you can change the color to whatever you like. And then you can change the font color too. That can be just changed by using color. And then you can go back over here and say you would like a specific reddish color like this. You could copy paste this here. And then just close it with a semicolon. And there you have this reddish font. And if you still feel the color is not red, you can just play around with the colors. Say I go for light blue. And then I'll change this here. It's a bit more readable. And if you don't like it at all, you can just remove the color tag yourself here. And then it'll just reset to black. So we have this so far. So we've added HTML and CSS. Now, if we want to add some JS, we can just move this here. And on CodePen, you can click on Settings and then click on Behavior. Then you can turn this off and this off for now. As when you type in the JS code, it will automatically run it. That's why we turn them off to have a run option to check our code if it works. What we can do now is we can create a variable and call it name and then put equal, and then we use the prompt keyword. So prompt is used in JavaScript to ask a question. So I'll put in a bracket, and I'll ask you, what is your name? The question mark, and then end it with a semicolon. The next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to actually greet this person to my New Year's resolution website. What I can do here is I can type in alert, and Right, welcome to my New Year's resolution website. And then you can put a plus here, and then you can add this, and then another plus. And then here, you can type in the variable name. And then you can save your project. So what we have done here is we've created a variable called name and prompt is used to ask a question. So it asks, what is your name? So it asks, what's your name? And then that information is stored inside name. So when alert is used to give you a pop-up, it'll say, welcome to my new year's resolution website. Then I've added this here to give it a space and then it'll say our name. So let's try it out. Let's click on run. So it says, what is your name? So I'm gonna type in Siddharth. So welcome back to my New Year's resolution website, Siddharth. So that's how the JavaScript works. So congratulations, you've made your New Year's resolution website with the use of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys had fun making the project. I can't wait to see what you've made. And please make sure you like, comment, share this video and also subscribe to First Code Academy. See ya.